For over 25 years, this has been the epicenter of sports entertainment. We welcome you tonight to the longest-running episodic television show in history. This is Monday Night Raw. I got a feeling we're going to see some serious history made here tonight. Here we go, and we're kicking things off with a bang. Singles action on tap right now. In just moments, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have competitors locked inside. Steel, don't go away. We have a real fan favorite taking on some tough competition. Oh, I cannot wait. Making his way to the ring from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 206 pounds, the heavyweight Lucha Libre World Champion, the Superstar. And guys, despite the title not being on the line, this is still very much a big match. Of course it is, Cole. This is an opportunity for the champ to prove exactly how dominant he is. And trust me, he doesn't take these opportunities lightly.
his opponent, from your darkest fears, weighing in at 220 pounds, Lance Parker Negrin. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. when these two competitors can be unpredictable. Well, that's what makes this match so intriguing. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. This might be it! Oh, my! What a stop! Good grief! The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the last battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even cages stacked on top of each other like WCW's Power of Doom. All right, we talked about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them. I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And, of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today, we have the asylum match where weapons are on top of the cage. It just goes to show you that times may change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle a score than to do battle with your adversary inside a steel cage. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high red district, and dive off onto their opponent. And that all started with one man in October of 1983. Jimmy Superfly Snooker. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. And you mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship that saw Jimmy Superfly Snooker clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. You look over the years to people like Jeff and Matt Hardy. Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, and Chris Jericho. They continued to push the envelope and execute it. Ooh, there's the kick. Second row. Follow the deal. Panama Sunrise. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. This steel cage match is in the books. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Steel cage matches never fail to surprise and amaze. And here's a last look at this one. Here is your winner, the superstar. Big win here to start the show.
Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Going to be a tall order for the next match to live up to its billing, but I'm optimistic. Next up, tag team action. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. We have a team led by one of the best talents on the roster to date in a match that is sure to not disappoint. I cannot wait. Introducing first, from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 265 pounds, el numero uno. Guys, we have a big-time tag team match coming up here. A big-time match with big-time stakes, Michael. Neither one of these superstars can afford a loss right now.
and his partner from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 220 pounds, Charlie the Rockstar. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. chance he gives less than 100% here tonight, given the fact that the title is not up for grabs. Well, if he does, I can tell you that he's going to get embarrassed here. Title match or not, you simply cannot give less than 100% each time you step inside that ring. Everyone's ready, and just like that, this tag team match oh, is man. underway. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who've dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Wasn't even close to three. I have to put in a little more work than that. Oof. 
He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Here we go. Set it up. You can't believe this one's over. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. He's not looking like himself right now. I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the end for him here. Oh boy, he is rolling. Two. Three. Back now inside the ring. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in the top. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Showing some quickness there. Up and... I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less. Boom, impact. Here he goes. Ooh, what impact. But he's got to capitalize now. Going for the cover. This guy's a competitor. He's not going down yet. Not too early for that. Comes in off the tag. Looking at it. He's starting to look blue. Oh. <laughs> Here's his moment, Michael. He's got him covered. Two, three. And we have our winners. Tag team is on a roll, Corey. That's so impressive. Not too many superstars do it oh, better. Look who's here! Great oh, cheap shot by these two. Yeah, an assault and an ambush. The battle has just intensified. What a brawl! Going to be a tall order for the next match to live up to its billing, but I'm optimistic. Tag team match on the way.
Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have the Bella Twins in a match that is sure to not disappoint. I cannot wait. Time for a little twin magic. On the way to the ring, the Tag Team Champions, Brie Bella and Nikki Bella, the Bella Twins. Byron, this isn't total Bellas. This is the real deal. I'm still happy to see the Bellas, two of the most successful tandems in WWE. WWE history. There are actually only one tandem, Saxton. It takes more than one person to make a tandem. You know what I meant. Think about all the memories we've seen on pay-per-view with the Bella Twins. Remember when Nikki teamed up with John Cena to take on The Miz and Maurice? Or how about that epic battle where Brie Bella went one-on-one -on -one with Stephanie McMahon at SummerSlam? As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. Time tag team match underway here. Tag team action in full effect, guys, and these superstars are about to show all you folks what it's all about. This might be it. Oh my. derail them though she's putting up quite a fight here cole but despite that now is probably a good time to look for the tag her opponent clearly wants to prove a point tonight and you know what i think it's working Ooh, nasty impact 
Steam here. You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. She really needs to make a tag here, guys. There's no way she can continue like this and expect them to match. There's just no way. I gotta say, she's gonna need a monumental comeback if she expects to walk away oh, wow. with her arm raised. Escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. How is Brie Bella going to remain alive? There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed, and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. What a match. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. That's how you wear down your opponent. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the, some good technique right there. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oh. Big time slam. Vicious. Oh, and it's a reversal. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. If it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call, but this is it. Oh my God, man, oh, Rose, the man, oh, that almost came out of nowhere. Even better the second time around. She's in a bad way here, Byron. Don't count her out yet, Michael. Tagged in. And it's Nikki Bell showing 
some agility. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. Boom, what impact. Nikki. Great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Oh my God, guys! Oh, Look at this. Let's do this. Oh, oh, Nikki, if she goes for the cover. What an incredible tag team contest. How about another look at some of the highlights? She's taking care of business. Critics of these ladies in the WWE might not have been very impressed, but they did do some nice things in there. Critics of these ladies in the WWE might not have been very impressed, but they did do some nice things in there. Here are your winners, Sue Young and the Queen. Wow, huge pinfall win here tonight. These two girls make me think that we should have a women's tag team championship. Who do I have to talk to to get that done? You're going to be hard-pressed to find action like what we just saw anywhere else but right here on Raw. This next match might be every bit as good as the last one. Singles match coming up next.
making his way to the ring from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 176 pounds, the underground champion, the Eagle O. Todd Gould. And Corey, what do you think the champ's game plan is for this one? He's going to be looking to end this one as fast as he can, Cole. The longer this match goes, the more chance of injury. And the last thing he wants to do is relinquish his championship due to an injury he sustained in a non-title match. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. Saxton here to call what will surely be a highly contested matchup. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. You know, Man. even though the title is not on the line, this is still an important match for the champ. He can't afford to show any weakness here. Oh, neck breaker. Oh, an elbow drop. Starting to show signs of fatigue. Oh, man. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be Jeez. going in his favor here tonight. Oh, moonsault! Man, did you see the height on that? sure how much more he has to give he has to be disappointed in this performance it really is so much better than what he's shown so far tonight oh, continuing to punch them lightning fast reflexes He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Putting it all on the 
the line. Whoa! He's lining him up. He might have it. Oh, and he reverses it. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this! Byron's feeling happy. Oh, oh, oh. Big ending! No doubt about that one. He's calling for it. Uh oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Up and down. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. He goes for the cover. And he got a near fall out of it. Still too fresh. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Kick. It hits the mark. Beautiful technique. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. I lose that one. He wants to do this in the ring. the job. He's looking at it. Nice split. When this guy's on, look out. Look out. Slam down hard. Game, set, match, this one is over. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. He wants no part of the outside. Keep your eye on this one. Incoming. Oh. <laughs> He's going for the pin. This could be it. Two. Sit back, people. This one's not over yet. Just needs to do more damage. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well.
Here is your winner, Pitbull. Big pinfall victory here tonight. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. These fans are hoping the next match is as entertaining as the last. Singles action coming your way. Making his way to the ring from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, the Dragon. As we ready for singles Junior. action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. Get ready, guys. Big time singles matches coming up here. And I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. This matchup has the potential to be special. We could be moments away from an instant classic. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again.
beautiful senton. He's on the defensive here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. I know it's early, but if things stayed the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Into the Hurricane Rana. Nicely done. Oh, oh man. He's making a statement here with this attack. Uh-oh. Dragons. It's in, it's in. Night, night. He's back in control here. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, boy. Oh, no. We know what this is. Is he done? his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. He obviously came into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as much as he could. Though I'm not sure that's the right approach. Yeah, but he's still in considerably better overall shape than his opponent right now. I mean, it seems to me like he still has plenty of fight left in him. Oh my god! Ah, stop in the way! Just nasty. He's going for the pin. This could be end of the pay window. You're not going to win any matches that easily. That's all right, Cole. Oh, nasty impact. But he's got to capitalize now. Going for broke. Wow. Elbow. Can he finish him off here? Oh, he's able to reverse it. Goes down hard. Isn't good, no question about it, Cole. There it is. Oh, Rana. Harris maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Look at this. He's going for it all. He's playing with him now. The end may be near. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricane. That should do it. Yes! Unreal performance. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as the highlights show.
This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A-game every time, I guess. Here is your winner, the Dragon, Diaz Jr. That was a big pinfall victory right there. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. Wonder what this is about. You know this guy came prepared. Here we go. Let's find out. Not making any friends, but not really concerned about it either. Not exactly likable. Not making any friends, but not really concerned about it either.
Wonder what's on his mind. Well, things are about to get interesting. Let's see what he has to say. One of the most popular superstars in the WWE, no question. Bad blood is a boiling. And I think that is loud and clear. Man, you can't fake passion like that. I love it. Let's get it going. Things have been interesting so far, but now it's time for our main event. Singles action coming your way.
making his way to the ring from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in Byron at Kelly. 200 How do you think the champ pounds. looks heading into this one? The I'm impressed, Michael. Sometimes you see a champion champions. look a little less motivated yeah. when the title is not on the line. But that's clearly not the case here tonight. Yeah. And his opponent, from your darkest fears, weighing in at 245 pounds. Big time singles Ted matches on deck Duber here, and Byron, Louise what should we expect to see Martinez. here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. Man, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. What a stomp! Good grief! Oh, oh man! Full impact! He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Whoa. You gotta believe this one's over. Leaping attack. Oh, high impact. Knee drop. That was nasty. 
so precise. Sharp knee. He's stumbling some now. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance from him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost oh. in there right now. German suplex! Technique. Oh boy, he is rolling. Going for the big one. Power bomb. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Looking. Oh, what impact. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? not a pleasant trip. Are you kidding me? Oh. Can he finish the job? One. Dodges that one. Two. He's too quick for him there. Folks, if you want to learn about Raw's most tumultuous period, be sure to check out the Night World on WWE Network. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. Boom, what a kick. is what makes him one of the best in the business. Boom, what impact! A second time. Nailed it. Here's his moment, Michael. Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. His shoulders are down. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Overall, this match was average at best, but not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. These fans got their money's worth in this one, as you can see right here. And there was no question about that one. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing... I can't think of a better match.
Aftermath to end this eventful evening. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time. He's playing with him now. And he hits Black Mass. Game, set, match. This one is over.